All right, guys. So welcome to yet another video. And just yesterday, we released a video on Poco Launcher's new update. Now that was a second update of version 4.0. Now just recently, they have released yet another update in which they have fixed a few things and yeah, they have broken a few things. So this is a quick video. It won't be really, really long. And we're going to install the new version and see what exactly is working and what is not. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, first things first, let's actually pay attention to the launcher version that we are talking about. So if you go to settings, we go to more. The version that we spoke about yesterday was this one, 0520.1636. Okay. Now we're going to quickly go ahead and update to the latest one. As you can see, this is yesterday's 1636 and 1135. This is the updated one. So let's go ahead and update it. Just by installing the APK, you can go ahead and update this particular launcher. Now, if you go to launcher settings, you will see that on the UI front, there are no major changes. You know, more or less everything is still the same. You have the animation speed, you have your Google discover, all the other things which were present earlier are present as well. Also, what we don't see is the third party icon pack support has not been added. So in case you want to have, you know, third party icon packs, you will have to rely on the themes store, you'll have to download some themes from there and I apply icon packs from there. Now, one thing that was not properly working yesterday was the floating window option over here at the top. Now that has been completely removed. That was a sort of a bug in yesterday's update, but you can still use floating window by long pressing here and say YouTube, we are in YouTube, right? So you have this icon on some apps. This icon is working on some. This is not so as you can see. Floating windows is present and it works absolutely fine. Now, apart from this, let's once again, go to the launcher settings over here. Let's go to more, let's go to about. And as you can see, this version now is 1135. And what is good over here is that whenever we make any updates or any changes, the settings of the previous launcher update are not getting overwritten. So that is a really, really good thing. One thing they have also fixed is whenever you use to open a particular icon pack, there used to be a slight, you know, lag in wallpaper zoom. Now, as you can see, that is absolutely fixed compared to yesterday's update. That is a really, really good thing. And in case uh, wallpaper zoom is not working for you, you can just go to apps, manage apps over here. You can select show system apps and look for the wallpaper application. This is something I showed yesterday as well. If you have uninstall updates over here, uninstall updates, reboot your device and you should be good to go. So wallpaper zoom is working slightly better now. Now, one thing that they have removed is app icon animation. I really don't know what issues Poco team has with app icon animations, but if we go to say the default icon pack, say we go to the Poco icon pack and hit apply. Let's see here. Let's allow it to load. Now, as you can see, they have completely broken the icon packs once again which is really, really weird. It was working just yesterday, but now the icon packs are not there. So what you can do is you can go ahead and download any theme which has icon packs. Once again, let me show you, for example, let's go to themes over here and let's go to say MIUI 11 icon pack, hit apply. As you can see, the app icon animations in the MIUI 11 theme are working fine as well. Now, after yesterday's video, some users were stating that the hide app feature is not working. So it is a little difficult to get it to work, but it does work. So hide app icons, place new icons on the home screen in app query mode. So that feature is working. It's a little difficult. So they are still working on this particular update of the Poco launcher and they are removing some features. They are adding some features. But majority of the bugs have been fixed. The Google, you know, feed is butter smooth. Most of the features are working fine. Even after a reboot, you will notice that 
the settings that you made to your home screen are present and they are working absolutely fine. So all in all, the link is mentioned in the description. You can use yesterday's update or you can use today's update. The call is completely yours. I think these updates will keep coming now because there has been a lot of changes in the top management of Poco India and I think they've worked, started working really hard. Let's hope for some more good updates for Poco devices. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.